What is a protista? Protista is a marine cell which grows in the water. And this is one of the most interesting of all the other kingdoms. This kingdom, Protista, was first put forward in the 1830s by a German scientist. This type of cell must be millions of years old, because like bacteria, it, was, it would have been one of the first things to have evolved. Although it would be still a couple of thousand years younger than bacteria. The Protista cell is mostly unicellular, meaning it only contains one cell but sometimes can be multicellular, meaning that it contains more than one cell. The reason this cell is so amazing is because it can go from tiny organisms in the water to massive forests of kelp underwater. This cell has a complex cell structure with a nucleus. This is a picture of a protista cell. As you can see from the diagram, this looks very complex and confusing, but I'll try and break it down and tell you about the main parts. First of all, there is the cell wall. This is the protection that the cell has in order to stop it from being destroyed. The next is the cell membrane. This is what surrounds the cell in cytoplasm to stop the liquids from leaking out. Like the prokaryote cell, it does have a second function, which will stop liquids from leaking out and also allow other liquids in. The nucleus is what the cell uses to control itself. It is covered in nucleoplasm which is what surrounds the nuclei, as I should have said before, and keeps it in place. This is what sends out the instructions to the ribosomes. The ribosomes contain RNA acid, which is what is used to send out and carry the messages to the different parts of the cell. There is the undilipodium, is how I think it's pronounced. But this is what the cell uses to propel it so forward. Just like the prey, the prokaryote, and with the Bacterial flanagan, I think it was called. This is what is used to propel itself forward in a circular motion. Next, as I understand it, it is the vacuole. And as I understand, this is a place where the cells store ingested food and where waste products wait to be disposed of. The chloroplast is what, hap is what contains the chlorophyll, in which the cells use for the chemical reaction of photosynthesis. Lastly, there is a cytoskeleton. This is what gives the cell its shape, and this cytoskeleton is made out of protein. Like the cell membrane, this has it also has a second function. This can be a like a cell wall and provide a little more protection against anything that will try to break it. 